everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the new Girl Meets World episode and because this is my first time reviewing the show, there's a few things I want to cover first. So the main thing is that Boy Meets World is and always will be my favorite show of all time. So no matter how good Girl Meets World or any show for that matter is, to me it's never going to be as good as Boy Meets World. So keep that in mind because that can um, make me focus more on comparing it to Boy Meets World which isn't exactly fair because they are two different shows. So I'm just sorry for that in advance, but I do end up doing that. Um, the second being who I ship because I know people are going to ask about it. So I'm just going to state clearly that the only ship I really care about is Ryarkel. The others are fine. I don't think hating on another ship is cool. So you can ship who you like and I'll ship who I like and we'll leave it at that. So with all that being said, let's just jump right into it. So we start the episode off with Maya and Riley who have just binge watched a show for the whole weekend, which Topanga is not happy about. So when Riley says she's going to watch the last four episodes after school, Topanga says she can't because she needs her help at the bakery, sorry, at the bakery, and Riley says no. Now as someone who grew up in a home where saying no to your parent is literally the worst thing you could possibly do, I was very disappointed at Riley for this and I don't know if that's because of my upbringing or not, but that's just how I saw it. Um, so the girls are at school and Riley claims that she's not afraid of Topanga and they're going to go up against her and then we get Cory acting terrified, um, which was hilarious, but I'll talk more about that later. Uh, so Maya tells Sarah that she's going to be Maya now and we get some lines from her which was awesome. I love when we get to see Sarah because I absolutely love her. Um, but anyways, Corey does a demonstration with Riley as a walnut and Topanga is the hammer and you get the picture. <laughs> so Riley doesn't show up at the restaurant and decides to watch the show with Maya instead and there's a joke about them not being on TV which was funny. But then we get the con confrontation of Topanga and the girls which I thought was really well done and I was actually on Topanga's side the entire time. Again, this could be because of my upbringing, but everything Topanga was saying I agreed with like 100%. The whole thing about Maya being at fault as well and what was said about entitlement, I thought it was all just spot on. And so Topanga decides to ground Riley for three weeks and takes Riley and Maya's phones, which is the only thing I did not agree with because I do not think it's Topanga's job to punish Maya. But she realizes this as well later on, I think, which was good. I'm not, I think she did. Okay, moving on. So at school the next day, the rest of the class spoils what happened on the finale and there's more talk about Topanga being Godzilla before we have Riley coming to the conclusion through Corey's lessons that she has to have a talk with Topanga in which she claims that Topanga does not care about Riley, only about herself. And as much as I wanted to strangle Riley this entire scene, I do think that um, what she was saying was realistic to a 15 year old. And so Topanga says that she doesn't want to see Riley right now, which I completely understood. Anyway, she calls Riley out for not respecting her and the house that they live in and everything that they provide for her. And so then Riley says that she's fine, she's gonna move out. And then Corey finally says something worthwhile. Like I said before, as, like I was gonna talk about, right? Yeah, okay, I'm talking about it now. <laughs> so as much as I love Corey and his goofy behavior, I wish that he would have been on Topanga's side for this conflict throughout the beginning of this episode. I wanted to see them as a united front, as a parent unit working together, like Corey's did on Boy Meets World. That's a great example, is their parents on that show. Oh, they were just so good. And I wanted to see Topanga working together with Corey and we don't get much of that in the show and I wanted it, we didn't get it, and I was sad about it. Anyways, having Cory be scared of Topanga may have been funny and I guess more true to his character, but he's a dad now. He should, you know, he's a parent with his wife. They should have been parenting their child together, but whatever. So Riley goes to Maya's as predicted and lasts about five minutes before wanting to go home and then we cut to Topanga who's sulking on the couch about Riley being gone before she decides to go apologize. So then we get the confrontation between the two characters where they're both apologizing to one another, Riley for being disrespectful basically and Topanga for taking things a bit too far. And Corey says some words of wisdom about humans being wrong every once in a while and Riley asks if she's still grounded, which she is, which was important that Riley was still grounded. Anyways, she then thanks Topanga, which I thought was also really important. Um, but we end the episode off with a scene with Riley and her friends, which was adorable. And then we have a clip with Riley and Topanga, which I thought was definitely the best clip in the entire episode. It was so beautiful and it was a fantastic way to end this episode, which I find that is one of Girl Meets World's strong points. Oftentimes it'll end with like a really emotional bit that gets me all teary-eyed and I feel 
good about that episode and uh, it was good it was good okay so all in all i think that danielle fischel did an outstanding job directing this episode and all i can say is that i hope we get more like these in the next few episodes we have left and it really felt more like a Boy Meets World episode than previous ones in the series. Um, speaking of this, if you haven't signed Smurf Vlogs, petition to move Girl Meets World to free form, and that's something you're interested in, I'll leave that link down below. Um, I definitely think you should check it out. Anyways, that's all I have to say for today, but I want to know what you guys thought about this episode. So leave it in the comments down below. I can't wait to read all about it. And question of the day, do you prefer these episodes or do you prefer more silly ones? I really want to know, I'm curious. That's all I have to say for now. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and maybe subscribe for more. But I will talk to you all very, very soon. Goodbye.